before I ask the question, if you haven't heard, Colby Covington will be facing Robbie Lawler at UFC on ESPN 5 on August 3rd. He was slated to fight Kamaru Usman, but because Kamaru Usman has been uh, injured, you know, and, and recovering from it, uh, a surgery, he, his return is not definite. So the UFC has decided to move along and, and have these two face off. So here's the question, Richard Hunter yes. from the Phone Booth Fighting Podcast. Um, does Colby Covington versus Robbie Lawler make any sense over a Covington title shot versus Kamar Usman? In other words, should he have waited? Usman's out till November. Cole, uh, Covington has not fought in a year. It'll be over a year by the time uh, that he does So what's does another four Lawler? months to fight for the undisputed title? I'm not saying he would necessarily like to do that. But I think from the promotion standpoint, oh, I see. this absolutely uh, makes sense. And from the fan standpoint, mm-hmm. I, I, I think this is fine. And I think that it's just sometimes fighters... And understandably, from their own perspective, fixate on, you know, but what about my title shot? And they don't look at the grand scheme of things of, hey, you know what? Uh, unfortunately, it's very much a what have you done for me lately kind of business. And if fans haven't seen you fought in over a year, fighting over a year, it's it's they got to put you back out there from from the promotion standpoint. Just just to remind everybody why you're so great. If this question came up maybe a week ago, I would have said, no, it doesn't make any sense. Because, look, June's almost over. Mm-hmm. So we got all of July, all of August, all of September, all of October. So honestly, four months before Kamaru Usman's anticipated return, he's saying in New York, you know, the 2nd of November, I believe. I'm sure they would already announce the fight sometime in, in August. So really it was just ma- a matter of waiting another six weeks and then getting that show on the road. But Ben Askren's really been turning on the heat. You know, he's... I mean, that guy's out there brawling with Masvidal on social media, Covington, even Usman. Mm-hmm. And and guess what? He's he's having some success. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people are loving themselves some Ben Askren. And so I, I think he's breathing fire down Colby Covington, his back and, de- and his neck. And if Askren were to do something pretty special against Masvidal, and I'm not saying he's going to win, but if he does and it's something special... He may be the one that overtakes Kobe Covington. And remember, Kobe Covington, I wouldn't say he's in the doghouse. I mean, Dana White has already stated that he's next. But Dana White's just known to change his mind. And how you know about what I mean? this? I mean, it, it, it took one of those blindsides by Covington over at the, the blackjack pit over at the Palms to, yeah. for them to kind of sort things out. So I, I see Covington moving a piece uh, on the chessboard and saying, okay, I'm going to obviously have to have the last say because this fight will happen after uh, Askren and so that'll be his chance to impress against someone Askren just fought. And how about if something else good comes out of this? You know if if uh, just like Askren you know proved his his uh, uh, medal with Lawler not just as a wrestler you know basically uh, uh, was so tough in that fight that nobody's like well wait I've heard this guy's just the the wrestler that's not super exciting to watch no no now he's not that guy anymore so what what if what if uh, Covington has an outstanding performance against Lawler and and instead of moving one ahead of the other in terms of of uh, Askren or uh, or Covington that they stay neck and neck and then maybe you've got a legit rivalry between those two you can't have enough you don't always just have to have one rival this is true this is true yeah, yeah. all right well the voting was kind of like on a two three 63 percent said no that it didn't make sense uh, over a title shot 37 percent said yes and I think most people would just say hey they're they're basically answering the question no a title shot means more but Man, the politics in this game. You know what I mean? That mm-hmm. division is stacked. There's a lot of killers there. Um, if Tyron Woodley winds up taking a fight, who knows? He may only need one before he gets a rematch. So I think uh, Covington probably decided, hey, I, I got to do this. And the good news is he'll be on with us uh, in a few minutes. So uh, you'll have to catch that uh, on demand on SiriusXM because this segment is over for the Daily Debate with Richard Hunter from the Phone Booth Fighting Podcast. <laughs> 